Welcome back everybody, my name is Gamma Trap, one word, and this is our tutorial series where we cover fire. Now we've got different sizes and styles ready, and each of these will be in their own video, just so you don't have to hunt around or, or wait a, through a very long video. You can just pick the video in the series that you're looking for, or you can watch them all for a slightly more comprehensive view and understanding of, of fire. Now we've got small and medium, and large. Uh, each of them have a realistic and stylized version to them, as you could probably see here down below. Now they've all been made, but if you don't see the links in the description down below, that means they haven't been published yet. Make sure to subscribe with the notifications on if you'd like to catch those. But for now, let's get started. Okay, so our first flame is going to be a more realistic, simple flame, sort of like a candle or a matchstick. The cool thing about realistic flames is, aside from a few you know, exceptions or, or, I don't know, like chemicals or, or other kind of various materials, almost all of these simple flames all kind of look the same. Like they've got roughly the same kind of color. The only thing that really makes them stand out is typically whether or not they're blowing in any kind of gentle breeze, because any hard breeze would blow the candle or match out, or if, uh, if their environment is a different kind of like a lighting scenario. For example, I've got us in this kind of moody dark, low saturation, cool colors, kind of um, almost like cell or cellar, you know, a bunch of old stone everywhere. And this is going to make the flame really stand out. And I did this on purpose, you see, haha. <laughs> but what's cool about the whole realistic flames is they all kind of, like I said, you know, look alike. They're, they're pretty simple. And, and the, the, almost all the colors, aside from like, you can get some cool green and, and I think blue and, and maybe even purple and red flames, again, depending on the chemicals. But aside from that, these are pretty much all the colors you're going to need for a simple, regular flame. We've got our generic white, and because, you know, flame emits light, we're going to need white for light. And we've got a very bright yellow, almost almost like a cream. And that actually kind of uh, like surprises some people because they're like, oh man, candles are, are bright yellow. Yes, they're very bright, right? But they're not like overly saturated yellow. We don't, we don't need like mustard yellow. Another one is our orange. And this orange is, is a little bit more saturated, right? Not full orange, like up here, and not full bright, like tan or, I don't know, a good <laughs> sand. Sand's a good <laughs> example. We don't want sand. We don't want sand, we want salmon. A good, you know, slightly more saturated orange is fine, not overly saturated, because we don't need that, because it would, it would take away from the brightness. That actually lowers the value a little bit. And a more red color. Not full red, we want a slightly orange red. And almost in the same value range, see, like the difference between here and here, as the orange. Just slightly, slightly red, slightly more warm. And then, to most people's surprise, a good blue. Not full-on, like, royal blue, but not, like, sky blue either. We want another another kind of middle-of-the-road saturation situation. Almost all these colors are really just kind of in this zone here. So, <laughs> that's good. Right, it kind of reduces confusion. Now, the shape of a flame. For example, a candle. Let's actually, real quick, let's make a wick. Any any kind of wick shape, just just like a, a stick. We're going to make our, our, our shape around this, Okay. And for this, we're going to use another basic brush, hard round pressure opacity with the pressure sensitivity turned off. The only pressure sensitivity we want is the opacity pressure sensitivity. Let me get a bright color. We want that turned on. If that's not turned on, then go to your brushes and you're gonna to go to transfer. Make sure transfer is checked and turn pin pressure on this. But we don't want the size turned on. That's more for stylized. And that's in another video. So the shape of these are pretty simple. Right? It's almost like a teardrop. They go up. And, and more stylized ones come up to like a point. Like that. Most, most flames don't, don't move like that. If they're just chilling. You know, they come up. And they are kind of sharp. But they have a nice dull bottom area. But they're not like overly sharp. They're thinner on the top. Kind of come down, have a nice little rounded bottom area that kind of curls around, you could say, the wick. And it's not a complete sharp point on the top. It's a little curved. Just make sure you get your shape in. Don't worry about having everything like completely painted in. We don't, we don't really need that because we're going to replace a lot of these in internal colors a bit later on. 
Next color, we're gonna go up, we're gonna go to the yellow. Make your brush nice and big. And the yellow doesn't really get past this point. Everything below this is not yellow, and everything above that is, eh, maybe that, is typically not yellow either. So make your brush about as big as the flame. And just start like that. Very gently moving the yellow up closer to the point, leaving some orange on the sides. If you get too much, grab some of the orange. Kind of paint it back. We don't want a full cut like this, because again, that's more stylized, because flame is more, more soft, you could say, than that. Keep your brush big if you can. And then kind of move a little bit of that color back up by just holding down Alt, clicking the color, and you can paint with that. Okay, that's also how we're gonna pick these. Next, we're gonna grab probably the red. We're gonna go back down, make your brush nice and big. And the red, there's very little red. I'm just gonna put some down there. And then there's a bit of red on the edges. Just a little bit. If it gets too sharp, make sure to soften it back up by color picking and blending a bit. We want this to be a nice, even sort of like gradient between the two. All right, and now the, uh, the secret sauce. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure we erase a little bit of this. We want to make some room, just a little bit. Just come up here and erase a bit of this bottom area. Make sure your eraser is the same as your brush, by the way. Hard round pressure opacity. Same settings and all that, but just, just erase it. It's a little bubble. Right, not too much. You don't want to get rid of too much. Just a little bubble. Because we got to make room for the star. The blue. The blue really, the blue really sells the flame, I think. And we're going to come up here. We're going to make a very gentle kind of outline. And it's not going to go all the way up. It goes about right about there, about halfway maybe. It's going to be brightest near the bottom. Put a little gentle blue in that little bubble we just made. Kind of like that. Do a little blending. And you could also, what tends to happen a lot, is you can grab some of that orange color that you've sort of made and sort of wrap it around the wick just a little bit. Because the wick is sort of emitting all this stuff anyway. If you can't see your wick, get your eraser, erase a bit out of it so you can see it. You don't want to completely see it like this. You could, but the fire is still wrapping around. The wick is inside the fire, so you want it to be a little a little blurred, a little colored in, with the flame. Now we get the white. Now the white doesn't really go everywhere. The white kind of sticks just in the middle of the yellow area. So wherever you put that yellow, make sure the, the, the middle of it is white. All right? And just a little bit. We don't want to go crazy. And so we've made this gentle gradient, which is the transfer from one color to another, from orange to yellow to, to white to yellow to orange to red to, to blue. Now, if you want, for bonus points, you can go soft. You can get your, your, your another default brush, soft round pressure opacity. You can soften up that bubble just a little bit. You can soften up the edges just a little bit. I'm like, don't, don't, do, don't do crazy. You want this thing to have some shape. So I wouldn't soften it too much. You can soften the tip just a little bit. Make sure the shape is good and preserved. Now, for bonus points, you can add a little bit of red and orange to the wick. Different parts of the wick, too. Inside the wick is all charred. But on the outside, it's still kind of red hot. Add some orange and some yellow. Not being crazy. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Okay, now let's go with the final touch. We're gonna go back to the soft round pressure opacity and make that brush nice and big. Get the yellow. We're gonna make
make a little gentle glow. Kind of like that. And that is the fire. Now, if you really, really, really wanted the bonus points, if you want the uh, the extra grade, I'm gonna turn my canvas sideways here because it's easy for me to paint like that. I'm gonna grab the orange. And we're just gonna put a little bit of lighting on our pedestal here. Not much, nothing crazy. There we go. And there you go. Congratulations, you have made a more realistic candle flame. Now, you can iron this out as much as you want, right? So if you could, if you want to, if you think this, this shape is too soft, feel free to go back over with your hard brush, your hard round brush opacity, and add the right colors you think it needs more of. Okay? It's not big of a deal. If you think there's too much white and needs more yellow on the edges, you can add those. If you think it needs more orange at the top, you can add that too. This flame is your baby. You do with it whatever you need, okay? <laughs> Just giving you the tools. Now, to blend it better without all these, like, weird lines and stuff, you can use a soft brush for all of this, right? Because the flame is very soft. So if you blend with a soft brush, you'll notice that you'll get rid of all those lines. See? A much more, much more evenly distributed sort of color situation. I just like the hard lines because it's easier to cut the shapes. But we want to get rid of these lines. Like I said, just get your soft brush. Do your color picking. Make sure you keep the, the white where it needs to be, the yellow kind of where it needs to be, the orange kind of where it needs to be, you know, all that stuff. And you can get rid of all those little lines if you don't like them. There you go. Not too shabby. Your basic matchstick or candlelight flame. Now also, if, let's go to liquify for kicks and gigs. Now here's our, here's our flame, right? If you want to add a little bit of wind, just, just keep the, the forward warp tool and just barely kind of move it over to the side a bit and hit okay. And you've, you've added a little bit of wind. Do not go crazy because if there's too much wind, the, there, there wouldn't be a, a flame. This flame is very weak. It's just meant to give a little bit of light. And if there's too much wind and all that stuff, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll blow out. So you got to be gentle with these realistic flames. All right. Hope you found this tutorial useful, helpful, or entertaining. Uh, feel free to like it, subscribe for more, and down below you will find links to the other videos in this series where we tackle stylized small flames, more realistic bigger flames, more stylized bigger flames, and then the huge gigantic flames, tornadoes of flame, those are also realistic and stylized. In the description down below, you should find links to each of those videos. Also in the end screen here. If you do not, that means they have not been published yet, but I'm making them all at the same time, and I'm just trying to keep this stuff nice and spread evenly throughout the course of a couple days, maybe a week or so, because there's a lot of stuff here. But I wanted to break these down into bite-sized chunks for anybody who's looking for something specific. Like, oh, I don't care about stylized flame, I just want the realistic stuff, that's kind of why. Feel free to like if you liked it, subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials like the stuff showing on the screen right now. Thank you so much to my amazing patrons. I appreciate the ever-loving out of you for supporting the ever-loving out of me. Thank you all so much for watching, and take care.